During the years, NBA has become a home for ballers of many nations. A while ago, I made a video about the first Indian player to ever play in the NBA. But today, I want to talk about the first Australian player to play in the NBA. He's also the first ever Australian player to win an NBA championship and not just by riding a bench. He was a very important part of three NBA championships in the late 90s. Hello people, how's it going? I'm Purple Prince and let's talk about the career of Luke Longley, the first Australian basketball player ever to play in the NBA and to win an NBA championship. Luke Longley's basketball career in North America started in 1987 when he was recruited by University of New Mexico. In four years of college playing basketball, Longley averaged 19.1 points, 9.2 rebounds and 3.6 assists. Longley was playing center position, as at 7 foot 2 inches tall and 265 pounds, he was a force to be reckoned with in the middle. The size, skill and agility were noticed and in 1991 NBA draft, Longley was drafted number 7 overall by the Minnesota Timberwolves. In his rookie year, Luke Longley mostly rode the bench. He was a part of a three-headed monster at the center position for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Timberwolves had a veteran 7'3 center Randy Brewer and another 7-foot youngster Felton Spencer, who were just ahead of him in the rotation. But all three of Minnesota centers played at least 15 minutes per game. In Longley's second season, he played just a bit more and averaged 5.8 points and 4.4 rebounds per game. Minnesota, though, wasn't happy with the production Luke Longley was providing, and the franchise itself was struggling at the time, finishing the 1992-93 season with only 19 wins. During the 1993-94 season, Luke Longley was traded to the Chicago Bulls. Happy birthday to him! Not only would he be able to play alongside the basketball great Michael Jordan, but he also ended up spending five years in Chicago, which was the most successful period of Luke Longley's career. At first, Longley filled up a role of starting slash bench center, kind of do the same thing he was doing in Minnesota. But everything around him was different now, and he was a part of a winning culture. In his first full season as a Chicago Bull, Luke Longley was strictly a bench option. He appeared in 55 games and averaged 6.5 points and 4.8 rebounds. In 1995-96 NBA season, with previous Chicago Bulls center Will Purdue gone, Luke Longley took on the starting center duties. The season was great for the Chicago Bulls as they won a then record 72 out of 82 games in the regular season. Luke Longley had his individually best season up to date averaging 9.1 points and 5.1 rebounds. Everything else is known to the basketball fans. Chicago Bulls won the NBA championship and Luke Longley was now also the first Australian NBA champion. In the next two seasons, Luke Longley would win two more NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls, completing the three-peat. Thank you, Michael Jordan. His last season with the Chicago Bulls in 1907-98 ended up being the most productive of his career. 11.4 points and 5.9 rebounds for the season. After Chicago's three-peat, Michael Jordan, although still in his peak, decided to retire. That of course forced Chicago to start a new life, without Michael Jordan. The team was dismantled and turned out that Luke Longley was also not in the Bulls' future plans. Chicago Bulls did a sign and trade deal with Luke Longley and sent him to the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns were still in the post-Charles Barkley period and needed to add some muscle to the front court. Phoenix Suns squad wasn't bad, a future Hall of Famer Jason Kidd and some good scorers. Longley was still the starting center, but it was his ninth year in the league, so his production started to slip. In his first season in Phoenix, Luke Longley averaged 8.7 points and 5.7 rebounds in 39 games. In his second season in Suns uniform, Longley's production slipped to 6.3 points and 4.5 rebounds. Prior to the 2000-2001 NBA season, Luke Longley was traded to the New York Knicks, which was his last stop in professional basketball. In New York, Longley was coming off the bench and played just 25 games, started two of them and averaged just 2 points and 2.6 rebounds in 12 minutes of action. 
and his NBA career, Luke Longley played 567 games and averaged 7.2 points and 4.9 rebounds. He's a three-time NBA champion, was inducted into the Australian Basketball Hall of Fame in 2006 and wrote his name in history by being the first Australian NBA player and the first Australian NBA champion. Never individually great, he was always important to the team. Thanks for watching guys. There are already better Australians in the NBA, but how would you rate Luke Longley's career? Was he a big part of Bulls Championship Dynasty? Leave a comment below, like this video and subscribe for future NBA content. This was Purple Prince and I'm out. I'm thinking about the Yamaha, you get away from all the camera. I'm over it, don't want to fantasize. They just ran a corner ride, they hit me right between the eyes. It's funny when they switch and pick a side.